Hello students, this is Miss Diane. I'm going to demonstrate the state board haircutting for barbers. All right, I'm going to choose my number four guard. Put that on, which is a half an inch. I have an, a number eight guard on here, which is an inch, so it's gonna cut a half an inch required by state board. I'm going to get my clipper comb right now. Okay, so I have my number four. Let's just say I'm going to walk around my client. You're gonna have more room than this, but I'm going to walk around my client. Do a number four. All the way around the head. And anytime if I need, I can force that hair into the clipper. All right, making sure I didn't miss any areas. Again, you would walk around your client. For the sake of this video, I am going to turn my mannequin around. Again, I'm going to turn my client around. At state board, you would just walk around to the other side. All right, so I've done my number four all the way around the head. I didn't miss any areas. I'm going to take my number four guard off, put it in the items to be disinfected container. Then I'm going to start with my half. So now I'm working with no guard. I'm gonna get in there, do my half, and I'm going to scoop up. Scooping up. So I'm starting with my half, so I don't make any hard lines in here. Alrighty, now I'll go to my zero at the hairline. Then I'm gonna go somewhere in between my half and my zero. If it's easier for you to see, you can tilt the head. Okay, now I'm going to use my clipper comb upside down and my blade totally closed. to get the remainder of that bulk out. As I'm doing that, I'm also going to take the time just to taper these sides a little bit. Same thing on the other side. back around here. Again, I could 
Take your time, paper this a little bit there. Outline. The haircut. I'll do that on the other side. Let me turn. I. Oops, almost lost my head there. Let me turn them around. If that happens to you, just pick them up, put the head back on, sanitize your hands, and continue. Okay, so I got that cleaned up. I did the outline. I've used my clippers with a guard, without a guard. Did a taper. There. Let me grab them from down here. Right. And I can go ahead and show my clipper over. Comb work here. Removing some of that bulk. It's not perfect, but I think this will get me my license. All right, so I did that. Now I'm going to take off, stop with my clippers. I'm going to go ahead and either um, put these to the side or put them in my items to be disinfected um, container along with my clipper comb because I do not need that anymore. Now I'm going to wet the top of the hair. finer mist there okay there we go I'm going to get my comb and my shears now and I'm going to do my mohawk guideline in the front let me adjust the head just a little bit and I'm going to take off considerable amount here or there Doing my mohawk guides down the center of the head, all the way to the bottom here. Okay, now I'm going to go from side to side. Let me turn my mannequin over to the side here so you can see. I have my guide there in the center I am just going side to side okay I'm going to wet it a little bit more here this side okay I'm going to come around here do vertical cuts now. Blending that clipper work into my shear work. I'm 
going to remove the little corner that's created. That's one side. I'm going to go back over and do the other side. Again, center guide. Again, I'm going to do vertical, blending that clipper work straight up into my sheer work. to come back, check my haircut. Now, if you're moving your stand, yes, you have to disinfect your hands. I'm moving it so that you get a bet better view of what I'm doing. Otherwise, I wouldn't be moving it. I would be walking around my client. Okay, right now, I'm just cross-checking. my haircut. You'll see we have plenty of time. Going over and checking. Okay. I'm almost done with my haircut. Now I have to demonstrate sheer over comb work. Okay, so I'm going to go back, get this little bit of a weight line off here. Around the parietal ridge. All the way around. So, I believe I covered everything there except the next shave, which I'm going to do right now. But I went ahead and demonstrated clipper with guard, clipper no guard, um, clipper over comb, shear over fingers, shear over comb. Right? These would go items to be disaffected container. Now I need to do the shape. So now I need to pull the draping down a little bit. I'm going to get one of the corners of my towel, tuck it in here, expose the back area. There we go. Okay. I'm going to get a cotton ball out just so I can have it ready and it will remind me to use my antiseptic. I'm also going to get my spatula. I'm going 
to get some shaving gel out. Okay. And I can use it just from here or I can put it on my hand if I wanted. Okay, got it around there. This would go into my wants to be disinfected container. All right, I need to put this down here. Take off my hand. Items to be disinfected container. All right, now I'm ready to demonstrate my shave. Let me turn the client around towards you. You can see that. Okay. Now, I'm going to do my reverse backhand. Backhand is like this, right? Reverse, you're bringing your elbow in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All righty, let me get a paper towel here and I will use that as my residue towel. All right, I need to move to the other side. I'm going to do my free hand here. And I might as well move it all the way back there. Okay, again, this is your free hand. back around, backhand, backhand, reverse backhand, bring that down. Okay. Items to be disinfected, trash. Okay, then I need my cotton ball over my trash. I'll go ahead and put some on there. Wait one minute. Let me go ahead and dispose of this because I did make a mistake. I need a steam towel. So I would go ahead, disinfect my hand. Get a steam towel out of the bag. Close the bag up. Wring out my steam towel over my trash. I'm just going to fold it right here. Wring it out over my trash. Go ahead and clean up the neck. Soil linen. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a cotton ball. This goes in trash. Over my trash. Astringent to close the pores in the trash. There we go. And I'm going to wait for their instructions. I think disinfect my hand. And I'm going to wait for further instructions from the examiner.